Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja and I'm dedicated to helping those that are suffering with an adrenal fatigue nightmare. Today I'm really happy to announce an upcoming workshop that I'm hosting for free, absolutely free. You just have to log in and give me uh, your email or click the link below and get the uh, registration link for the webinar. Um, it's on March 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now I know a lot of you can't make that time, but if you simply click on the link and leave me your info, I will send you the replay link of this webinar so you can watch it after. But that still requires that you opt in. So what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about copper toxicity. This is potentially one of those things that you as an adrenal fatigue sufferer may be missing and why you're not able to turn the corner and get your life back and bounce back the way you used to from the stressors that you encounter every day and having the energy that's necessary to have a fulfilling, productive life. So what are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about environmental exposure. So how do we get top copper toxicity? You know, it really starts in utero when we're in mom and we're developing um, birth controls and IUDs and copper and pipes. And it's just, it's ubiquitous nowadays. And if, if we get a lot of exposures, then it can cause toxicity. Um, the importance of what copper does in the body. Now, the copper is not to be vilified. Copper is very important in the body. It's re really required in um, the uh, electron transport chain, how our body, our mitochondria makes energy. And if we don't have copper working the way it should, we are just not going to be making energy the way we should. And we're going to be accumulating too much toxins or copper toxicity in the body. And this can cause headaches and migraine and mood disorders and insomnia and just feelings of exhaustion. Um, we'll talk about how the adrenals are involved. How are the adrenals and copper related? Basically, the adrenals signal the liver and tell the liver to bind uh, the, the available copper that's in the body to be utilized for that energy production. And if the adrenals aren't working properly, then that doesn't happen. How do we evaluate for copper? You know, copper is a essential mineral and we have a lot of minerals in our body and we can test for that with hair mineral analysis. And we're gonna be talking about that in my webinar. And then most importantly, what can be done? Because there are a lot of things that we can do to help um, improve the function of copper and reduce the toxicity and, and help our body produce energy at the optimal level. So make sure you click on the link and register your email or get the link to the webinar and um, we look forward to helping you and your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.